Hello, my people. Welcome back to Critics News with more updates on as you take the go. Let's go straight to the reason why we are here today. Now, they say that the president of the country, which is um, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, has issued a statement concerning the um, attack carried out on the Nigerian uh, military men mounting a checkpoint at Obika Abia Junction in Aba Abia State. So, um, the previous up update I gave concerning Enina Baribe, I think that um, that order was coming from above. <laughs> They say don't even pity anybody. No look at your face if you they carry out your mission with day behind you. So that's why the Nigerian military, you know, did what they did to Sinedine uh, Nia Baribe. You heard that uh, he was humiliated and um, embarrassed by the actions of the military. So what the president has said is that um, they should um, Tinubu Oji security agencies to fish out IPOB sit at home mastermind killers of soldiers in Abia. So he has issued a statement that they should deal with all the people who carried out that uh, very act of uh, killing five soldiers in Aba. Um, Aba is going to be very tense now and a lot of people are going to be arrested. Uh, a lot of innocent people are going to be arrested. So if you are living in Aba, please be careful. Be very, very careful with your movement. Okay, mind how you move because the Nigerian army are all out. Even in villages, they are going to be patrolling everywhere to see who they will take as a scapegoat. So just be very careful this time around. Since the president has given them go ahead, many things will happen. President Bola Tinubu has vowed that the federal government will come down heavily on those who have made it a habit to needlessly attack Nigerian armed forces personnel. He stated this on Saturday evening in Abuja in reaction to the killing of five soldiers in Aba, Abia State following a sit-at-home order given by the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB. Tinubu in a signed statement said on no account should anyone under any guise have the audacity to buy agent of the state. So that like those military that were killed now by unknown government, he said that nobody have that right. To do such to people who are serving the nation you see so this abia state now where we they manage this abia state that has been on a low key sense when i don't want carry them now enter war front when i want carry them now people now no go drink water drop cup people just they do their things they live their life normally until this wala came <laughs> everybody now we face it if uh, any nobody could be humiliated because of this, then tell me who else is safe. If a serving senator in Nigeria was humiliated, tell me who is safe in this scenario now. Nobody. He warned that the government of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and the armed forces have the capacity to crush violent non-state actors to make communities unsafe. He said, I have received yet another disheartening news of the killing of five soldiers by suspected militant of the proscribed terrorist organization IPOB. <laughs> well, deal. The slain soldiers were on peacekeeping duty in Aba, Abia State on Thursday when they were murdered just two months after a similar tragic incident happened in Okuama in Delta State. You see, you see what happened at Okuama in Okuama, how the Nigerian military took over that uh, particular vicinity. Now, the reason why this one looks somehow is because Aba is a town, so it's not like a remote village. You know, it's not like a community. If it were to be a village now, the, the military would have sacked that village. But this is a business place. This is a, a marketplace. This is shops, you know, where people come, do businesses, and go home. So that's why now the, the military cannot shut just the road and say nobody should pass this road or shot everywhere it's not a village that's why it's the difference between this place now and okuama community you understand that place was a village and here is town now they say these unwarranted barbaric and evil act stand condemned and should never be condoned and tolerated in our country our soldiers and the police have the onerous duty to protect all of us from aggressors and non-state actors 
Hundreds of them have paid the ultimate price in fulfillment of their duty, while some have experienced the indignity of being manhandled by the people they protect. They surely do not deserve the mindless attacks by unruly elements in our society. According to the president, the federal government will come down heavily against those who have made it a habit to needlessly attack the officers and men of our armed forces. On no account should anyone under any guise have the audacity to kill agents of the state. I want to make it clear that the government of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and the armed forces have the capacity to cross violent non-state actors making our communities unsafe. I urge security agencies not, not only to fish out the masterminds and perpetrators of the Aba attack, but also those calling on people to stay at home. Their action is nothing but a treasonable offense. The fact that the security forces are exercising necessary restraint should not be mistaken for weakness. Now, do you see it? So this statement, it says that the, the fact that the security agencies we are, you know, being friendly does not mean that they don't know how to harden themselves and deal with people. So now he said that they should deal with people so that they will understand that the military have the might to control the state. We are working to build a peaceful and harmonious society, but nobody should be under any illusion that the government will not act appropriately when the lives of our officers and men are wantonly taken. While my condolences go to the families of the five slain soldiers, their colleagues and the leadership of our armed forces, I urge other men and women on peacekeeping duty not to be discouraged by the unfortunate incident in Aba. That's how the that's what the federal government, the president Bolamed Tinubu, have said they should come down heavily on those people. Anyways, before I play you this video, let me quickly introduce um my own Asimbonye Jite Wototia. Um, in case you they use tap tap send or you want to use them or you define app when you go to send money go Nigeria. Uh, tap tap send is there for you uh, to use. Just use my promo code Critics News on capital letters and they will give you a bonus of five pounds, five dollars, or even five euros or twenty five AED. Which one be that? I think uh, uh, you will be that money. So uh, and I be the bonus we then go give you for using my promo code. Yeah. So um, I they wait for now. We gonna use that one. They send money. So um, the governor of Abia State, which is uh, Governor Alex Oti, has visited the families of those slain soldiers and has um, you know said sorry to all of them. So let me quickly um, show you that uh, video. Oh yeah. In the state, uh, the governor Alex Uti has paid a uh, condolence visit to the wives of uh, the five soldiers who were killed by yet to be identified gunmen. The governor met with the widows and assured that the state government will support all efforts to bring the perpetrators to justice. We are going to work like we have always done, very closely with the security agencies particularly intelligence units of the security agencies to ensure that we didn't lose to the top. So I want to reassure the military high command and the leadership of the military in Abia that we are working together to ensure that we keep those people to work. It was most unfortunate that such a thing happened without us able to um, justify the assailants and um, get them to pay for what they have done. We will look for them wherever they are. We will smoke them out. So, uh, that's the statement coming in from the Nigerian army. They said that they are going to smoke. Uh, the unknown government who carried out that very attack, uh, they are going to smoke them out. Um, out, all right. So um, now the Nigerian police uh, authority, um, I think the IGP have issued a statement. He said that uh, people should not be giving bribe to the police again. You know, uh, especially those who are standing at checkpoint, that you should not be giving them bribes. I say, oh, <laughs> I'm gonna hear from the horse's mouth. I know fish out. 
Back to the nation's capital, where the Inspector General of Police has called on members of the public to resist being extorted by corrupt police officers. IGP Kairi Agbetoko says this is one of the ways citizens can support efforts of police authorities to read the force of airing operatives. The IGP says was speaking at an event organized for police officers saddled with the responsibility of checking corruption in the force. I want to emphasize that while we continue to implement internal measures to curb acts of extortion and other vices, the citizens must join hands with us. I urge the public never to succumb to intimidation or part with their hard-earned money and properties unjustly. They should report any infractions or acts of misconduct by any of our personnel for appropriate remedial measures. In conclusion, I take this opportunity to enjoin all of you to remain steadfast and committed to the forces' aspirations, work consciously to reclaim the public's confidence and trust in the force. All right, so that's, um, uh, that's the IGP. I uh, said that uh, people should resist giving bribes to the Nigerian police force officers, all right? So let me know your opinion on this matter that we have discussed so far on these issues. Uh, I will see you guys on the next update. Stay tuned and don't go nowhere. Don't forget to use the promo code of this tap tap send in case you want to send money from Ogodo Ibo to Africa. God bless you. Bye bye.